In today's video, we're going through my 2020 football gear. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mr. Football here today. And today I'm here with essentially uh, the gear that I'm going to be uh, showcasing here on my channel over this year, possibly even going into a little bit later on, maybe into the next physical year uh, in 2021. But uh, I've got, since we are at pretty much the start of football season, we hope, for 2020, um, and I only say that because this is July uh, 10th when I'm filming this, but I wanted to go through and talk about my football gear that I'm gonna be using, uh, you know, whether that's reviewing on this channel um, you know, showcasing it in some form or fashion. Uh, there will be many videos that a lot of these things that I'm showing you guys today are going to show up again. Plus, if we do get to have football and so forth, you know, we can you know get through some of those things. Um, my hope is is that around November and December I'll be playing flag football again. Um, obviously, right now uh, with how things are, we don't know how that's going to happen. I don't know if and I've not really heard anything. So um, I just wanted to go ahead and get this video out there. It'll always be good, no matter what. But I've, I've picked up a lot of things uh, starting since about May and trying to get a lot of my football gear together for the upcoming year. But what I just wanted to start with is just going through each thing, talking about it a little bit, and basically just creating a little preview for you guys uh, just so you guys know what's coming on this channel here for the future. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Um, and turn on the bell for notifications. We come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. That's our regular schedule uh, as far as when regular uploads happen. As well, we do live streams on the weekends. Most of the time during football season, it is on uh, Saturday evenings, uh, depending on you know time and place. So first item starting off, and I'm just going to kind of roll through each item here and talk about it a little bit. Uh, first item here is a football from Wilson. It is a laceless training football. Um, we had picked these up, and I've really been wanting to just try this out and extensively use it. And so I've taken a little bit of the summer here to, uh, you know, do a video on this football, talk about it. Its essential purpose is for essentially quarterbacks to train without using the laceless. So basically, it's just a laceless football. Okay, obviously, you know, laces would normally be here. The idea of this is that you catch the football and you try to throw the ball quick. Uh, without using the laces so that's kind of just a trainer in a sense to you know not worry about quarterbacks not worrying about trying to find the laces when they're trying to throw the ball uh, but that's just one of those items next up I'll be going through uh, my mouth guards and so forth um, I've got the shock doctor interchange mouth guard I'm going to come out with an official review uh, of this product because it is coming back for this year which I'm excited for and just kind of see what kind of new plates they come out with Obviously, when you buy one of these, um, like this was what mine came with, and then I got my favorite uh, Shock Doctor, like mouth guard lip protectors are the uh, are the kind of the shield ones. These are you know pretty flexible, but they've got to be uh, you know to fit on the interchange. But these are super cool, um, and so I'm excited to look at those as well as sticking on the Shock Doctor. Um, list here as far as mouth guards i will be doing an official review of this mouth guard and so forth and and really you know there's not a whole lot to say about a mouth guard but like uh you know i'll showcase it in some way um i think i've done a lot of reviews on that kind of stuff a new mouth guard uh that's i've been new to it's been around for a while but next round uh, they sent me a bunch of stuff a couple months back and i'm gonna officially do uh, my lip protector review for it as well as their other types of mouth guards that they have, especially the ones that you have to mold. So I'll do a molding video on those. You guys really like my how-to videos uh, over the summer. So I'm gonna continue to do uh, how-to videos uh, and, and go through those. Uh, moving on down. Uh, this was an item that I I don't know if I've ever shown on the channel, but I picked this up maybe a year or two ago and it actually was just in my closet inside the bag that uh, I, and I just forgot about it. But it is a digital print Adidas sleeve, um, compression arm sleeve. Um, it's really neat. It, I think it, it, it all came out when the Snoop Dogg 
line of cleats and gloves all came out. If they're really cool, I think it's just, yeah, it's just one sleeve. But I figured I would wear that in um, flag football this year or, or, you know, I'd have something to use. Large XL. Um, the tag on it was for like 10 bucks. I think I got it for like five or something, you know, silly cheap. So, but yeah, cool item. Don't know if I'll actually review it because it is something that's not really, you know, Something that you really can't find right now unless you really just like search the web to find that specific thing. Um, the final thing, and, and a lot of you guys have seen some of this stuff that I've used, and then we'll get into the new stuff because I've got four things down here to unbox. Um, I've had this Under Armour hand warmer for a long time, and I've decided that like if I, and I mean I use it in flag football, so I mean, um, I've just never reviewed it. And so like, I'm gonna review a hand warmer this year. Uh, first time that I've done that in a long time, but like I figured it's uh, you know better late than never. This one's really not that old and um, still relevant out there. You can still find this exact one, but my favorite part of this one is it's white. You don't you really see a whole lot of white ones. They have a white and a black, so I like the white. Um, I'm also looking at possibly getting the Zenith uh, white hand guard or hand card. Uh, the light hand warmer as well. I think it looks super cool. And that reminds me because our, our first unboxing here today, this was going to be an unboxing, was on the Zenith, sticking with Zenith here, the Zenith football towel. So this is one that I was going to test out here, um, you know, kind of use it for you know, a video to uh, I actually just, you know, talk about in, in the review process of this. I'll do an official unboxing video on the channel of this talk about it and kind of my plans for it my overall plan with this is to try to do a comparison video of like the smaller skinnier football towels uh, that have come out and, and see if there's any different variations out there because I know that um, now Nike makes one grip boost makes one and now Zenith has come out with this one so super nice and we'll be doing a further detailed review of that Sticking and mentioning Grip Boost a second ago, I've got my uh, Grip Boost gloves that they sent me last year. I didn't get to test these out during flag football last year, so I'm going to do probably a comparison video of my first Grip Boost gloves compared to these, um, and I'll do some extensive testing over the summer with these. I will probably, you know, when I go out and uh, train and catch routes and do stuff, um, I'll probably use these a little bit more, get a little more use out of them. Um, and eventually, I would like to get the Cheetah Gloves that Grip Boost came out with. And I'll throw up a picture of those. That's something I'm interested in looking into at Grip Boost. Um, those gloves are pretty nice looking. So we'll look at that. Another unboxing. Uh, I picked this up off eBay. I, I found a pretty awesome deal um, on this. And it's a, um, it's a Riddell. SPX uh, backplate. I'd had one of these a long time ago, and I guess when I bought it, I really didn't realize that it was going to be this maroon color, so it was kind of neat. Um, but it's going to help me finish a video that I've been meaning to finish for a long time and talk about custom backplates and so forth um, to talk about that. Um, but I'll really use this product as a way to review the X SPX line of shoulder pads and so forth and kind of finish up that review series in a way because you know that was kind of one of the main pieces I was missing uh, for that but yeah super cool back plate I like the maroon color um, on that I, I don't know like how truly custom it is um, but you know most of the time Riddell will make uh, cause I mean if the money's right you can uh, you know get custom back plates made uh, through that uh, another item, and this is a smaller item here. We've got two more things to go through today, and that'll wrap up the video. And I guess I don't want to forget these cleats that we'll talk about here in just a second. The next item here is the Nike bicep bands. Uh, I'll be using these uh, during flag football a little bit, um, but I probably won't be wearing these exact ones. I'll probably be, it, I might get another set of the white, but I was probably going to end up giving these away on a live stream. Um, I'll talk about the cleats and then do the last unboxing, which is gonna, I'm saving the best for last. I picked these cleats up not long ago. I found them at a Play It Against Sports. 
And if you don't know, these are the very first Under Armour highlight cleats that they released. Um, and so the highlight cleats were kind of based around Cam Newton. When Cam Newton first entered the league, uh, there was a series of cleats that came out uh, that were, you know, the highlights. And then he had the uh, his custom highlights as well that came after this. But this was the first colorway they released, the silver and... Uh, blue, this light blue, kind of that Carolina blue color, and I picked these up for around $20, $30, and they were in my size, and I was going to throw those in just at the end, probably do a video on them, uh, since they, they are about eight years old, but uh, yeah, still in decent shape, I mean, I don't play flag football that often, but uh, when I do, I mean... I will use those uh, highlight cleats, and I've got a couple of decent pair of highlight cleats now that I use. Uh, final thing today, all right, and this is probably saving the best for last. Um, and I've also got some other items I'm looking to pick up. I've got some Douglas things, uh, Douglas um, neck roll, rib, probably the rib protector we'll look at, probably all the Douglas products you can get as far as accessories besides the back plate. Also looking at getting another restrictor plate as well, a butterfly restrictor. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at with that. So the final thing here, I picked this up off of uh, Amazon, and I really didn't know Amazon carried this till I started to really shop around. But this is the uh, Nike Eye Shield, okay, the Nike Football Visor, um, and it's got that, uh, it's got this little film on it here. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be a big unboxing for us. Um, and it's the, uh, it's the dark Nike visor. Normally retails for $60. It does come with a multicolor uh, decal pack in there. And so we're going to be reviewing the Nike football visor line, pretty much like the series of visors they have, um, and talk about those. Um, Pretty extensively, I've come out with a video on how to basically put on a Nike visor onto your football helmet. We'll do the same with this one. We'll review this one. This isn't for everybody. Um, obviously, you can't use this one in games if you're a high school youth player. Obviously, I'm talking to my, uh, you know, my semi-pro players or so forth. If y'all were to wear this, this is a sweet visor, uh, especially if you like Nike. So. I'm just, I'm really excited to check out a new, brand new Nike visor and uh, review it for you guys on here on the channel. Um, but we will be giving away a Nike visor um, at some point this um, this fall. So just be looking out for that. Uh, possibly whenever we get to 10,000 subscribers, we'll be doing a pretty big um, giveaway for that. So I can't say... With confidence now, that's what's going to be on our big 10,000 subscriber giveaway. But it's just something for me to, uh, you know, just get you guys excited about. So that's going to do it for now. I just want to say thank you uh, so much for you guys watching this video. Uh, like I said, if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. And now I'm going to go through our social media stuff. Uh, so you can find me out there, uh, not just on YouTube, because we are on Twitter. You can find me on Twitter at Mr. Football Coach, and that's MRFB Coach. On Twitter, you can also find us at Mr. Football Coach on um, Instagram. You can find us on Instagram where we post updates on the channel and so forth. We also have a private Discord page. I've went through uh, today and posted a lot of my football gear that was in this video on Discord. If you guys get into our private Discord, I, I welcome you guys in there to post your football gear that you're getting this year, just so we can all share and look at all the different things that everybody got. It's a lot of fun. Everybody does it on there, uh, especially the, those guys that are active in football. Uh, and we just talk about our football gear. It's awesome. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm Mr. Football, and I'll see you next time. Perfect. showcasing my 2020 football gear that you're going to see on this channel for the 2020 year. I don't know. 
it's not, you know, it's not the case. You don't have eight laces down here. You have no laces. So the idea is, is that you catch the ball uh, as the quarterback. See, <laughs> I dropped it. 